Hey, I need to call you with Firehouse Education, and I just have this really cool little video that I want to do for you guys. I'm actually here in Maitland, Australia. It's about an hour and a half, two hours, I think, north of Sydney, and we're here training this amazing company that actually has five locations, uh, stomatic locations uh, throughout Australia and several areas, and I'm I'm showing you right now, as you can see, they're amazing, what they call their MRU, Mobile Restoration Unit. Um, this is actually only the fourth one, even in the world, and I'm so excited and so proud to be here in Australia and working an actual life job on the Mobile Clean Unit with them. As you can see, their unit's a little bit smaller than mine. I've got the fifth wheel. They're doing the buffer hole because of the limitations that they kind of have with, you know, big rigs and trucks, things to pull here in the, uh, their country. But they just did an amazing job setting this up. It looks so professional and so nice, as you can see, with the diamond plate. And they've even got generators on board, so they don't have to plug into source. However, they can if they need to plug into source. But they just just done a fantastic job, and I just really wanted to give you guys a show and let you see all of uh, the amazingness that makes up their MRU. And over here, um, you know, you can see here I've got the pots. You know, we do like the shipping storage container stuff that they often use here to then put the decontaminated clean contents that have been inventoried into. And so yeah, that's that's all really really great. Uh, and the, the, I mean, it's like compact, right? Like it's wonderful the way they can just pull right up here. As you can see, we are right by the fence. And it's just right here by the door, you know, like bringing items out. It's just the efficiency is off the charts. So I'm just thrilled. And um, I, what I'm, I'm actually going to do right now is I'm actually talking with Isaac. And Isaac is um, the content manager for the um, Campbell location, one of them that they have. And Isaac, this is actually the second time he's trained with us. We've been here all week working with him uh, in the unit, which I've been so proud of. Um, he also came to uh, Montana and did our hands-on experience. So what I wanted to um, see if you can maybe speak to you for a minute, Isaac, was to let those know who may be looking at the unit and thinking, oh, this is different, because it really is very different, very different. than content. Because you've done content processing, yeah. correct? Okay. So, so what would be one or two key things that you find to be a huge advantage to doing the contents mobile like this? One of the biggest things with this um, MIU is the comfortability of our staff. And oh, huge. To be able to have them standing in an area that yeah, yeah. It's, it's safe for them, it's safe for the content, yeah. and yeah. that is just game changing. Instead of being in a contaminated environment, it's completely sterilized in here. Yeah. We're keeping it at a good temperature for, for so, our staff. So, okay. and just for reference on camera, what temperature is it right now? Because it's, it's December 9th today, by the way, this filming, but it's it's summer here, so what, yeah. what's the temperature outside? It's about 24 degrees outside. Okay, outside. and for all of us Americans, what does that mean? Oh. 24 degrees is about 80? I believe it's around that 80, yeah, yeah. 85. And pretty humid. Yes, yeah, yeah. very humid at the moment. <laughs> <laughs> so it's nice to be in the air. Yes. Yeah. So comfortability, comfortability. for the team. But then efficiency is one of the best things that we've seen come out yeah. of this trailer. Is we are cutting down our jobs by half. A lot of the time we will do a pack out and having this here, you'd think that a pack out adds more work to your job, but once you've got this trailer set up at the front of your property, you're just getting your content processed, you're getting it straight into storage and then you're moving on to your next job straight away. We've got a lot more capabilities within this trailer as well to be able to clean more content than we ever have before. Um, and it's just changing our game, our non-repairable lists or non-salvageable lists mm -hmm. are slowly getting a little bit smaller and we're finding more ways to be able to clean content that we haven't done before faster. Like, awesome. it, it's just... So you're actually, you're finding that you are not only more productive, your team is more comfortable and safer and you're actually restoring more items. Absolutely. Yeah, and isn't that our goal? I mean, after all, we are restorers, mm -hmm. right? That's our, our goal is not to lock down salvage, but to actually restore and put back to pre-loss condition. Yes. That's awesome. Is there one or two things that you would maybe, um, like, would you recommend for someone to have a mobile unit? Absolutely. Yeah. If you're in the content game and you've been doing this for long enough to, to have done a pack out before, yeah. 
you know the struggles of double handling, you know the struggle, struggles of damages, you know the struggles of losing things. Mm -hmm. If you've ever had any of that, you need a mobile unit. Yeah, so have you found that the mobile unit actually cuts down on the damages too? It absolutely does. Oh, awesome. We are going through a handling back to our factory or our facility. We don't have to open it up there and then repack it again. We have, it will, we handle a content item maybe twice. Instead of four or five times. If you're not handling an item, you can't damage it nearly yeah. as much. That's awesome. And I can definitely tell you guys that, um, you know, originally when I designed this unit, I really had no idea just what a game changer that it really would be. And I know here in Australia, they're the only ones to have one. And maybe in, uh, having another one or two, uh, depending on their locations. Uh, <laughs> and Dave, if you're watching this, yeah, I did just say that on camera. But, yeah. Oh, now he's going to do it. Right, right. <laughs> So uh, I just want you guys to like have an idea um, about some different possibilities. And you know, I always say this, I always want you to be open to new ideas and new ways of doing things. And this really can be a game changer. I mean, if you want to stand out in your market, you want an advantage over your competition in your marketplace, this is it. Um, do you find that contractors and adjusters really do like the idea of the unit? And sorry, hopefully you just don't hear me because of the generator just popping on or the air compressor. Um, but this is fully loaded. Air compressor, we've got the ultrasonic machine, please so we have a drawing room that um, we have HEPA vacuuming in line, like all of that. But what I was gonna say, so do you find that the adjusters or contractors that you do work for really like the work? Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. We have just had an open day actually up this way in Newcastle and the amount of adjusters and builders and anyone up in this this restoration industry here, they are so ready to start giving us more work. With our trailer, we've actually been able to, obviously you can cut down on the amount of time on claim line. And we used to go from about two to three weeks from start to finish, mm -hmm. we're finding that we're getting down to seven day claim line. And this is really, really appealing, especially in the area where we are. There's a lot of floods going out at the moment in Forbes, um, which is about a three hour drive from our, our main facility in the area. So to be able to have a mobile restoration unit where you go and you put it into this area, you aren't having to transport anything back to your main yeah. facility, it's all done on site. And you don't, again, you're not having to worry about damages, not transport, you're cutting down on labor costs. Our, the industry in this area, we have just pushed it to another level. And which all equates to more jobs, happier customers, less stress, and a lot more profitability, right? Absolutely. Awesome. Well, thank you so much, Isaac, for thank being on know. camera and going over this. And thank you guys for believing in us and, and, and creating this. Um, I know David has been really committed to doing things in an amazing way and standing out. Mm -hmm. And you guys really do that well, and I'm super proud of you guys. So um, I just really wanted to share this with you guys. And you know, if you're watching this video and you think, wow, this looks really cool, you should reach out to us and uh, yeah, we can maybe help you set up a mobile unit uh, with the designing or the layout, and obviously customized training because it's been pretty huge, correct? But I'm here with you, and we we'll actually have processing the job together in the unit, so they can really see the entire flow and go. Even though they're doing things amazing before I was here, this is just kind of the icing on the cake. And I would love, love, love to help you set up a mobile clean unit as well. So again. Contact me, Anisa, at firehouseeducation.com, and uh, yeah, maybe I'll come out and I will with you in 